Yeah. Today is going to be delicious, juicy, refreshing, pie-ish. I am making a Fanta pie. Yes, y'all, it's gonna have real Fanta in it. <laughs> it is gonna taste like Fanta, it's gonna look like Fanta, but it's gonna be a pie. Wow. <laughs> Revolutionary. By the way, this is not sponsored. I personally don't like soda, but I do like Fanta. It's just that soda makes my stomach upset and I get diarrhea. But y'all, Fanta tastes real good. I love it. So I was like, why not make a pie version of it? Turn it into a full-on Fanta dessert. So it's going to be so much fun. But before we get started, y'all, hit that subscribe button to become a juicy tomato. And hit that ding-dong notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a video. You'll for sure see it, okay? Don't you want to like... For sure, for sure, see this face. Then hit that bell button, y'all. My dishwasher is on and it's right here. So I'm getting like hot steam in my face right now. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I only live in Miami. Whereas I'm living in the devil's ball sack. Let's go make this pie. Okay, y'all, it's time to make a fancy pie. Happy Thanksgiving. Imagine going to someone's house on Thanksgiving and bringing a pie and they're like, what kind of pie did you make? And you're like, Fanta. <laughs> you would leave all the queens shook. So before we start, let me show y'all the Fanta flavors I got, okay? I got the classic Fanta orange. I think that's like the most well-known one, right? I think. I've always loved it. It's super refreshing, not sponsored, but I do love it, okay? And then I also got pineapple flavor. How interesting. Now, with the other two, to flavors I couldn't find them in like personal size so I had to get giant ones <laughs> Hashtag giant DIY. I got strawberry Fanta. I've never tried this in my life. Looks very interesting. I love berry flavored things, so I think I'll like this. And I also got grape Fanta, which I've also never tried. I love grape anything. Grape juice, grapes, <laughs> uh, but I do hate raisins. Raisins are grapes, saggy old, pissed off grandma. So first up, we are going to prepare the pie crust. So I did get a pre-made pie crust because it's just a lot easier, but I am gonna add something to it. So what I'm gonna do is first take a big sheet of parchment paper to work on. This is like the organic unbleached parchment paper. I'm just gonna take one of these pie crust rolls. I'm gonna open it up just like this. Get out of there. Oh my God. This is so satisfying. It's like a big macaroni. <laughs> DIY giant macaroni. I just put cheese sauce on this. So basically I'm just gonna start kind of, you know, squishing it together, getting it kind of warmed up with my hands so that I can work with it, you know, because when these pie crusts are like cold, they're just a lot harder to like work with, okay? So I'm just smashing it up, mashing it up. Play the music. Okay, so that seems pretty soft and mushy to me. So now what I'm going to do is make a little dent in the middle, okay? And I'm going to add some green food coloring. I'm making it green because that's like Fanta's theme kind of, you know what I'm talking about? And I just think a green crust will look really cute. Oh my goodness, it looks like a very terrified face. Help me! So I'm just going to start folding it in. My hands are going to get messy, but guess what? I don't care. I'm committed to this, y'all. Anyways, I've always wanted to be green because, hello, alphabet. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's just, just get in there. Okay. So I'm just going to work this through until the dough ball is completely green. It's going pretty fast. I'm kind of snatched. But I do want to, like, work with it until it's completely one color and not streaky, you know? Set cheeks in your face, in your mouth. Not gonna shake my piss, I'm thinking something more down south. No, this ain't about my pussy, this about my buns. I obviously slayed it. This looks really good. The color looks pretty even. I'm snatched, okay. So now I'm roll it out so it can fit into my pie crust, right? So I'm gonna take another piece of parchment paper. I'm just gonna put it on top just cause it makes life easier. And I'm just gonna start rolling it out. Gonna feel it miles away, but bitch, don't try to run. There's a big fat crack. Y'all, this is not working out. I don't like this. Never mind. I'm just gonna do it by itself. But it ain't in the earth. My anus hole is gonna open up and swallow your turd. Spark it, pop it, anus, drop it, ass, cheek, earth. Okay, so this rolled out pretty nicely. I'm kind of slayed by it. And I'm gonna just... Put it on top, just like this. Ooh, it's gonna fit so well. And then I'm just gonna turn all this over. Just like that. <gasps> Y'all, I think it's gonna be perfect. Let me slowly take the pie crust off of the paper. Damn, this pie crust is thin. Okay, this is a very delicate process, bear with me. The pie crust is like on the verge of breaking. I didn't know parchment paper could be so sticky. Wait, 
flip it, flip it, asshole, clip it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> oh! I snatched it. I slayed it. Butthole, sniff it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Wet it, pet it, ass can get it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Ass, cheek, earthquake. Ass, cheek, earthquake. That is perfect. It looks so pretty and shiny. I love it so much. I'm gonna set it aside. Okay, y'all. So now we're gonna make the filling. The first ingredient is chicken fighting stains. <laughs> I need more than that. Oh my goodness, Jerry, I'm a chicken fight yeast. I'm gonna be using a lot of eggs. Like, a lot. Like, how many Kardashians are there? Like that many. <laughs> but I'm only using the yolks. So I need to separate them as I go. Which makes things a little trickier. But bear with me. Y'all can witness me be a world class chef. Because I know how to separate an egg. Okay. Here goes Kim. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So this is how I do it personally. I just toss it back and forth. In the shells. Until the whites just kind of fall off. Just like that. See? And then I'm left with the beautiful yolk. I'm going to put it into this separate bowl. Y'all can't even see that. There we go. Okay. Chloe, yes, queen. Which one just had a baby? Wait, all of them, right? I don't know. Twerk it in my face. Ass cheek earthquake. Ass cheek earthquake. Twerk it in my face. You might look really hot. You might look like... Okay, y'all. I have all my egg yolks here. Looking super thick and creamy. I'm gonna take my trusty, crusty whisk, and I'm just going to whisk it until it's all, like, one consistency, okay? But girlfriend, anyone can twerk as long as they believe it. Your asshole might be so small, it might be gaping as... So now I'm gonna add two cans of sweetened condensed milk. Sweetened condensed milk is so sweet and ooey and gooey. It comes from the nicest cows in all the land. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add... Oh, oh, this is my broken, this is my broken can opener. Okay, let me get my other one. Here it is. Much better. Ugh, still not perfect though. Ooh, y'all, look how ooey and gooey it is. But bitch, your assholes don't matter. Just make them butt cheeks look better. I'm just gonna pour this in. <gasps> Ooh, this is gonna taste so good. This is almost like a caramely texture. I just love it. Perfect. Now, the next one. Oh my god, yes. <gasps> Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna start mixing until the egg and the condensed milk are completely mixed together. SL, till it breaks, shake it all night. Gotta make them cheeks look like they just got in a fight. So now I'm gonna take three smaller bowls and one crusty Tupperware container, and I'm gonna equally divide the mixture into all four bowls. Top it, anus, drop it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Flip it, flip it, asshole, clip it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Hit it. Okay, y'all, this is perfect. So now we're gonna add the star, the queen, the princess of the video, Fanta. Not sponsored. I'm just gonna pour a different flavor of Fanta into each bowl. Probably about... Mm. That much. Okay. Perfect. Ooh. Sizzle. Now orange. Beautiful. Strawberry. Perfect. Oh my god, it sprayed a little bit. Oh, damn grape. And then grape. Ooh, I love that. Perfect. So now I'm gonna start mixing. Butthole sniff it, ass cheek, earthquake. Wet it, pet it, ass can get it, ass cheek, earthquake. Ass cheek, earthquake. Ass cheek. Okay, so the drinks barely gave them any color at all. So I'm gonna add food coloring to each one just to make it pop a bit more, okay? Earthquake. Fork it in my face. Ass cheek, earthquake. Ass cheek, earthquake. Okay, so these mixtures are a lot more watery than I thought. <laughs> what I was gonna do was kind of like pour each mixture into the pie crust slowly and kind of make like maybe like a rainbow design or something. But these are so watery that I'm scared they're gonna like instantly mix together and then it will look like crap. And so I think I'm just going to wait five minutes, see if they thicken for some reason, <laughs> and then I'm gonna figure something out. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so things don't always go as planned. <laughs> These did not get thicker at all. They're just the same watery consistency. Um, I have decided, I have made a adult decision to only use the pineapple and the orange flavors because if I add in the grape and the pink and if all those colors mix, 
the purple and the pink might make it a weird shade. But if the yellow and the orange mix only, it will still be a very bright orangey shade. You feel me? So I'm just playing it safe here. I've got my pie crust right here looking so green and gorgeous. I'm gonna first pour in my pineapple one. Ooh. 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 And now I'm gonna pour in my orange. Let's see if it mixes or not. I'm gonna do it very slowly. Oh, yes. It would have mixed. Oh, but that's gonna be pretty with just with these two colors. A nice orange center, okay. Oh no, wait, the yellow's kinda taking over. What did I do? Oh my god, wait, let me just kinda spread the orange out a bit, okay. Oh, make a nice swirl, ooh, yes. Okay, looks like an octopus. Okay, wait. Hey. Ooh, I. What is this feeling? It's a rumbling in my. Okay, it's time to go into the oven. I think that looks pretty nice. I am very happy I did not add the other colors because it would have been a mess. I'm just gonna pop this into the oven very carefully. Mm, this is scary. Oh my god, okay. Ooh, oh my god, y'all, there is a pan in the oven. Someone left a pan in the damn oven. I have to take it out first, okay. The pan is out. Time to go in. You know what, let me use oven mitts. <laughs> I'm back again. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, my pie is in, y'all. Oh. <laughs> that was very stressful. I can't wait to eat it. I think it's gonna be delicious. Yes, clean. So I don't know what's happening, but the orange parts are getting these ugly ass bubbles. What is that? Oh my god, stop. It has to look pretty to give me that thumbnail. Ew, ew, why does it look disturbing? Okay, y'all, so. <laughs> It's not as pretty as I hoped, but it's done. Um, it's pretty firm, so I'm excited to cut into it. The crust looks pretty good. It's a nice green Hulk caca color. And then um, this has some burn parts. It looks kind of like creme brulee-ish, how it gets kind of bubbly on top, <laughs> but it also looks kind of gross. So let's hope it tastes really good. Y'all wait, let me cut into it. <gasps> Great texture. Like this is gonna hold together and make a really nice slice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Y'all, that is really pretty. This slice though. It smells so good. It smells like an orange dream. Oh, look how nice. The inside's nicer than the top, that's for sure. Wow, it really formed a nice pie. I'm so excited to taste this. Oh y'all, and the crust looks so pretty underneath. Oh my goodness. Yay. Y'all. There's a big issue here. Like, I've never dealt with this kind of issue in my videos. <laughs> so the pie is done. It looks delicious, right? And I really want to taste it. Like, look at that ombre effect, though. But I literally just right now found out that eggs have been recalled from, like, a bunch of different stores because of a salmonella infestation. Yo, what are the odds? I always talk about salmonella. And how scared of it I am. And now there's a salmonella recall. I almost ate this pie, which has like 10 egg yolks in it. <laughs> Thank God I found out about the recall before I tasted it. So the sad thing is, I don't think I can eat this pie, which is so sad because it's a whole pie that looks delicious. And I literally cannot taste it because it's not safe right now to eat eggs. This is so safe, salmonella, why? One day I'm gonna make this again just so I can taste it, okay? When eggs are normal again, okay? Thank you, my boyfriend, for informing me. <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> thank you. So I guess this video will have no tasting segment. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry about this. I, this is out of my control. Make sure to tune into my next video. I'm gonna do a mukbang. I'm gonna eat a whole lot of food, so be ready, okay? If you watch this whole video, you're the truest tomato in all the patch, and so I know who you are. Leave a comment that says, why pie? Why? <laughs> also, go check out my other videos, y'all. I tasted a bunch of Ross food. Yes, Ross, the clothing store. They have food, and I tasted, like, all of it. <laughs> and I did a Panda Express mukbang. That was so fun. Go check that out. They should be popping up around here. I will see you guys next video. I love you so much. Ooh.